Swifties, it's Ellen here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Sweet Nothing off of Taylor's new Midnight's album on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and classify this as a beginner slash intermediate level song, just because there is a bar chord as well as a picking pattern. But first of all, let's go ahead and talk about our guitar. You will need it to be in standard tuning, and we do not need a capo to play the song in its original key. On top of that, I have six different chords to show you today, and like I said, one of them is a bar chord, which is our F chord, as well as one strumming pattern that you can use to play through the whole song or one picking pattern that you can use to play through the whole song. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and we'll start with the chords. Alright guys, so I've zoomed in a little to take a closer look at these chords. Like I said, there's six to play through the whole song and we're going to go ahead and start with our bar chord, which is F. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts that you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that on my other channel, Forever Faithful, so I'll make sure to link that video right here for those of you who need it. After that, we have our C chord. Next is D minor. Then we have G. Next is A minor. last chord is E minor. And those are the six chord shapes you need to know to play the song. Now if you're brand new to the guitar, I would go ahead and suggest pausing the video and just taking a few minutes to memorize those chord shapes as well as practice transitioning back and forth between them. That way it'll be a lot easier for you to learn the rest of the song. But once you've done that, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming pattern that I would suggest for this song. They say the end is coming. All right, for all of my beginners out there or people who struggle with singing and playing at the same time, I would suggest you start out with a practice pattern, which as you can see is just a single down strum. And what you want to do is play through the song and do a one down strum for every chord change that you see. And just make sure you know where those are coming up, what word you're singing, things like that. So let's go ahead and bring up verse one as an example. All you want to do is sing through the song and play each chord as you see it appear with a single down strum. I spy with my little tired eye, tiny as a firefly, a pebble that we picked up last July. Okay? So basically you would go through the whole song just like that and just make sure you know where those chord transitions are going to come up and things like that. And it's actually something you do right now. I do have this whole guide available to download and print out on my Patreon page, so I'll make sure to link that in the description box below if you're interested. Um, but once you've done that, let's go ahead and talk about the full strumming pattern that I would suggest for this song. Alright, so the strumming pattern I would suggest for this song, as you can see, is down, 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 up, down, up, and it's going to sound like this. All right, so this strum pattern is fairly straightforward, so let's go ahead and put our F chord on. What you want to do is go down, 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 up, down, up. And this rhythm is going to sound a little bit bouncy, kind of like how you would hear her sing this song. So I spy with my little, it's kind of like bouncy like that, so it's like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, all right? And what you want to do is play this pattern through one time for each chord. So if we pull our first verse back up on screen again, you'd have F, down, up, down, up, C, down, up, down, up, B minor, down, up, down, up, back to C. I spy with my little tired eye, tiny as a firefly, a bedroom that I picked up last July. All right? And you could use this strumming pattern for the entire song. It would work for the chorus as well. They say the end is coming. Everyone's up to something. I find myself a runner. Sorry about this. I just learned this song a few minutes before filming, so pardon me if some of the uh, lyrics or anything are wrong. But you could use this strumming pattern to play through the entire song, and I think it sounds pretty great. However, I do feel like the overall feel of this song from the album is very like sing-songy and just cutesy and that just screams picking pattern to me. So let's go ahead and zoom in so I can show you a cute little picking pattern you can use on this I wrote song. a poem, you say what a mind, this happens all the time. So 
now let's go ahead and dive into this. It's fairly straightforward. What I want you to do is take your pointer, middle, and ring finger and lay those on your bottom three strings here, G, B, and E. And they're not gonna move from these three strings no matter what chord you're playing, okay? The thing that's gonna move is your thumb because that's gonna cover the bass note, which is either gonna be the sixth, fifth, or fourth string. So for example, if we put our F chord on, the bass note in our F chord is the sixth low E string. So your thumb would live kind of like here. And what I want you to do is we're gonna go thumb and then pointer by itself. And then these last two strings with your middle and ring finger, I want you to pick those at the same time. And then come back with your pointer finger. So for F we have six, three, two and one, three. Right? And that's the whole pattern that's gonna apply for the rest of the chords as well. So for C, your thumb's gonna move to this fifth A string because that's the lowest bass note here. But the pattern's the same, so it goes five, three, two, and one, three. All right, D minor, your thumb's gonna move again to the fourth D string, but the pattern's the same, four, three, two, and one, three. And that's gonna cover most of the verses already because those are the only chords there, but let's go ahead and talk about the other chords as well. So if we take a look at our G chord, you're gonna move your thumb up to the sixth low E string, and then again, the same pattern, six, three, two, and one, three. For A minor, it's gonna be five, three, two, and one, three. And then E minor is gonna be six, three, two, and one, and I always get questions about this. If you notice when we do this picking pattern on E minor, you really don't have to hold anything down on your left hand. So if you wanted to, you know, you don't have to finger that, but I would keep your fingers down just in case you pick a wrong string or something. But anyways, that is all of the chords for this song. So just to overview, we have F, C, D minor, G, A minor, and E minor. All right, so those are all the chords that you'll encounter as we go through this song. So the pattern is the same as you can see for all of these chords. So now all you would wanna do is apply this to the whole song. You're just gonna do the pattern, the picking pattern one time for each chord. So in our verse we have F, C, D minor, very cute and it kind of goes over and over with these chords here and you'll see it'll work for the chorus as well so they say the end is coming everyone's up to something I find myself running home to your sweet nothings outside they push and shove in you're in the kitchen humming all you ever wanted from me Again, sorry about if I'm getting these singing wrong, but you can apply this picking pattern for the entire song, and I think it sounds super cute and very much like the original. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our playthroughs. Outside they're pushing shoving, you're in the kitchen humming. All that you One, two, ready, go. Want to have fun playing through the rest of this song with me? 
then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other Swifty sing-along guitar tutorials. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box down below as well as in this iCard right up here. Alright guys, but that concludes my video for today, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helped you. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on any other Taylor Swift guitar tutorials. This Taylor Tutorials channel is brand new for me. I am focusing on 100% teaching only Taylor Swift songs, so leave me a comment down below with any requests that you have of any other songs that you want to learn. Right now I am focusing on the Midnight's album, but I do want to go back and, you know, figure out all the other songs for the other albums as well. So any suggestions you have for me, please leave in a comment down below. But again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped and I will see you in my next one coming out really soon. Bye!